It's officially 2023. Welcome back to Breakfast Television. That is us, Steve Steph, Dina, Sid, Hi. here morning. with you. Morning, All right, uh, for those of you waking up this morning who didn't see what happened in Cincinnati last night on Monday Night Football, we got to go over this because it's been, it was one of the most shocking things I've ever seen during a live sporting event. Devo, am, am, is that a fair way to, to yeah, describe that? I was that? watching it live, and there's a lot going on last night sports-wise, but watching that? Yeah. Wow. So, um, Bills and Bengals, one of the biggest regular season games of the season. This is on ABC. ABC pays the National Football League $2.7 billion a year to broadcast these games. The game was postponed after DeMar Hamlin, who's 24 years of age from the Buffalo Bills, delivered, and we're going to show this just the one time, and then we're going to move on from it, delivered a tackle to T. Higgins of the Bengals. He then he loses his balance, collapses, stops breathing on the field, is resuscitated on the field. He suffered a cardiac arrest, was carted away, and is currently at the University of Cincinnati, Cincinnati excuse me, Medical Center and is right now in critical condition. So, again, we can run the video anytime here, guys. This happened after a tackle on T. Higgins, and he's number three, and clearly something immediately is wrong. Now, um, both teams surround him very quickly. It's obvious if you were on the field, something was very, very wrong. So the timeline went, the injury happened at 8.55 p.m. Eastern. This was in the first quarter. 8.55 p.m. Eastern, injury happened. Uh, ambulance leaves the stadium at 9.25 p.m. Eastern. And over, over an hour later is where they officially postponed this game. No word on when they're going to play it again. That's not the story tonight. The story is this young man's health. He's, again, he's 24 years of age. He's, from, he's out of Pennsylvania. He went to uh, University of Pitt, played college ball there. Uh, he has a long, long history of helping his community, both in Pittsburgh and in Buffalo. He has started toy drives in both of those communities. In fact, he has a, um, a GoFundMe that was initially looking for $2,500 for a toy drive in Buffalo. After this last night, they're over a million dollars in terms of the GoFundMe. And this is DeMar, again, 24 years of age, there's a lot here. Uh, Devo, you saw this live. This, I conked out just before this happened last mm -hmm. night, full disclosure. You were watching it live. What was your reaction? To uh, it? I'll, be, I'll be honest. There was the World uh, Juniors going on. There was the Raptors playing. And there was this game. And this game interested me the most because you said, like, top two teams in the league, basically, mm -hmm. right? Watching this game. And seeing that happen instantly when the hit first happened, because it's under his chin, I said, oh, that doesn't look good. And then he got up, and then you're like, whoa. And everybody, you saw the other team, they all drop right to their knees immediately. They knew something was wrong. The medical staff, shouts to the medical staff um, for the Buffalo Bills, they were out there within 10 seconds giving him CPR and knew what to do immediately. Uh, this is the first time ever watching a football game that I saw an ambulance actually go onto the field. Normally, it's a golf cart and you'd be stretched out, things like that. This was an ambulance going out that you knew the seriousness of this. Um, look, we can get into the millionaires and billionaires making a ton of money off of the players with non-guaranteed contracts. We'll leave that for another day. These guys go out there on every single play for either the love of the game or for a ticket out of a community or to feed their families. Every single play they're out there putting their lives on the line. Stop for a second. If you didn't talk about anything except for this man's health and thinking about him and his family, don't don't come at me. Yeah, mm -hmm. Twitter was only not, thinking about that. Twitter was not a it. good place last night. Mm -hmm. uh, in some instances, we have 45 mm -hmm. seconds each. Steph, Steph you were ahead. watching. Yeah, I was watching it live, and uh, you know, hearing before my eyes were fluttering because you know, fiance, husband right, mm -hmm. was talking about, oh, you know, we need these people to lose for this. Yeah, da, yeah. Da, da, da. Fantasy football things, I mean, yeah, all that stuff. All that too, stuff, yeah. and then I, you know. Immediately that happened, and it was like I was wide awake. Um, and you just knew something was extremely wrong. Um, and I just feel for his family and his mom being in the stands and mm -hmm. watching that happen. Like, I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine. So, you know, thinking of his family and, you know, not about the money. Immediately, I don't know why it took an hour and I think over an hour and 10 minutes for them to cancel or postpone whatever the game. Immediately, I thought, this game is over. How will you expect, like, the t his teammates to get back out there and play a game knowing that, one of their members is in critical condition. I just mm -hmm. and they witnessed CPR, which is very jarring to see. Both so. had the NFL did not want to postpone this. Let's be very clear about yeah. this. Joe Buck said multiple times mm -hmm. on the broadcast they have a five-minute warm-up. 
mm. and they're going to play. Someone's telling him that. Joe Buck is a Hall of Fame broadcaster. Mm -hmm. He's not going to make that up. Both head coaches, shout out to Sean McDermott of the Buffalo Bills, young head coaches, mm -hmm. and Zach Taylor of the Cincinnati Bengals, they made the call, our team can't play, mm -hmm. Dina Final. When you hear that, it's profit over people, where's the humanity? Because you see it in the team, gathering in the circle, like you said, viewers at mm -hmm. home, where you're like, this is really bad. 24 years old, you're thinking, is it a concussion? Then you see him carted out. All of this happening, the grief on their faces, mm -hmm. clenching crying. their foreheads, crying. Yeah. How are you supposed to go and play a game after that? Mm -hmm. So thank goodness it was canceled, and I know everybody's praying for him that he does make a complete and full recovery. They are saying now it's cardiac arrest, and I'm sure we'll find out more because people yeah. really are rooting for him and they want to know what happened. Absolutely. And, if, and if we get any news this morning, uh, Melissa will have it here on BT because it's a fluid situation, still in critical condition in Cincinnati. Yeah. The Bills have gone home. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're not playing this game anytime soon. Mm -hmm. We'll keep you updated. More BT coming up.